You may have heard that the JPEG format isn't the best one to use for archiving your photos. In this video, I'll demonstrate why that is the case and also offer a few comments at the end about why that might not be such a big deal for the average user. The issue with the JPEG format is that it was designed to store data in a compact fashion. But in the process of making the data more compact, it throws away some of the important data. When the data gets thrown away, the quality of the picture degrades. And this can become a real problem when a picture is saved over and over again. Here's an image that was derived from a scan of an old photo. And like many scans, this requires a little bit of work to make it look its best. This photo could benefit from an adjustment of the tonal distribution. So we'll go ahead and make an adjustment to the levels of this picture. Make the whites really white and the blacks really black. And we'll open up the midtones a little bit and accept that. And we'll go ahead and save it. We'll save it as a JPEG for that first save. And to really show the effect, we'll throw away a lot of data and make the image very compact by using a low quality level. We'll go ahead and save that. I've closed this image and reopened it and then noticed that there are some dust and scratches I'd really like to get out of the way. So I can go ahead and take care of a few of those. And there's more work to be done, but this isn't a retouching video. So I'll go ahead and save it again. I closed the image and reopened it and realized it could really use a little sharpening. So I'll do auto sharpen in this case to go fast and we'll go ahead and save it yet again. So what's happened to this image with the multi-generational saves? I've taken the original image and put some of the same adjustments on it but not saved it and put it here on the left so we can compare it to this image on the right which is the one we saved multiple times. By zooming in on one of the faces you can see how things change from the original on the left which is a bit pixelated but still pleasing to the one on the right which is showing a lot of JPEG artifacts very blocky very harsh appearance. We've basically ruined this picture by saving it over and over again and letting the JPEG process throw away the data. So if you're going to take a picture and edit it over and over again, maybe JPEG is not the format for you. If you're going to start out fresh, maybe saving to a non-lossy format like TIFF or PNG might be the way to go. But as you can see, I saved the original and did not make edits on that. And in that way, I was able to preserve the quality of the original picture. There's another way to save your pictures as well, if it's a JPEG, and that is to do all your editing in a non-destructive editor, such as Adobe's Lightroom or Apple's iPhoto. This allows you to apply edits to the picture without ever touching the original image, which is preserved in its original form by the software. In any case, if you already have photos stored in the JPEG format, there's certainly no reason to try and convert them to another format to save them. Just use a little good sense and preserve a copy of the original image and you'll always have that to fall back on.